Should we do my top five fake quarterbacks Let's do it. of all time? All right, Bubba, take it away. Our top five in the five. The top five. This radio talk is terrible. In the five. All right, adding to our list of top fives today. Back onto the Island of Sports, top five fake quarterbacks of all time. At number five, Matt Saracen of Dillon High School. Now, here's the truth of the matter. I read Friday Night Lights this Friday after the show. I'm flying to Odessa. I'm going to watch a Permian game. I'm going to cheer on my nephews. I'm all about Friday Night Lights, but I didn't watch the show. I didn't do Dillon. I didn't do the fake stuff, and everybody's tried to sell me on it. My wife will please watch it. So I'm doing this out of allegiance to my wife and all those that tell me I have to watch Friday Night Lights. But I'm not going to, and I'm going to move on. Number four, a movie I did watch. Jonathan Moxon. Mox of Varsity Blues. Vanderbeek. Vanderbeek came in and did the show one time. Remember that, Saroots? Well, I'm a huge fan from Connecticut. What's up? Played a Texas boy in that movie. Varsity Blues. Loved Varsity Blues. Bubba loved the... The you know whipped cream bikini, the whole thing, sitting on the lawn chairs and the, I think in the highway wasn't that that happened that movie? I don't know. It was good though. Doesn't matter. Number three, Steeman Willie Beeman of any given Sunday. I was trying to remember. Willie Beeman played for the Sharks, right? I know Pacino coached it. And life is about inches. Football is about inches, gentlemen. Miami Sharks. It's a battle for inches. Miami Sharks. Steeman Willie Beeman. At Number two, now before you unveil it there, Jake and TV, here's what I tell you if you're watching ESPN News. One actor gets the top two spots. At number two, Shane Falco in The Replacements. Keanu Reeves and the Scabs come in and take over for the on-strike professional player. Shane Falco is your second best fictional quarterback of all time, but the best fictional quarterback of all time is... The guy who transitioned into a FBI career, became a big-time, big-wave surfer, general adrenaline enthusiast, it's one Johnny Utah of Point Break. Johnny Utah. Did he play for Ohio State? Blew out his knee in the Rose Bowl? Yes. That's what uh, Bodie said while they were playing football on the beach? What do you think? Who'd I leave off? Anybody, any egregious sins, Rudy? Well, the interesting thing, I think people are going to give you some flack for not putting, uh, what is it, Paul Crew, Longest Yard, either movie, the new one or the old one. Um, mm-hmm. And then you could argue that Lance Harbor in Varsity Blues was the better quarterback. Moxon was the backup. Blew his knee out. I'm, d- I'm just right. when healthy, guy was a five-star recruit, just saying. I think some people might say Sunshine, too. Sunshine, Sunshine as well. Sunshine 